Yeah, I guess we really should talk about it. Yellow Freight. Yeah, I've been thinking about it for a couple of days, trying to avoid talking about it because I don't really know a whole lot about it. Just what I've read and what I've heard about the problems that Yellow Freight is having. So I don't know really what to say. They've obviously had troubles for a lot of years, decades even. And from what I understand, it's been a problem with taking on way too much debt, uh, bad management, and of course, some people blame the unions. Now, I wanna say, I'm not gonna give a lot of opinion, my opinion, on what I think is going on. I just wanna talk about what I hear was going on, and we all know they're having problems and all that, so what I really wanna do is I wanna find out what you think. Some of you guys might work at Yellow Freight and can tell me and tell us what you look, see, what you see every day over there and what's going on. But from what I understand is, they've been having problems forever. They've taken on debt. At one point, they acquired Roadway. And from what I understand, they went into way too much debt in order to acquire Roadway at the time. And I guess management decisions since then, and they've been close to filing bankruptcy a couple times. And I think the government has bailed them out two or three times. And I know this last time, the result of the government bailing them out made the government like a 30% owner of the company. And I'm not sure that's a good thing. Anyway, I read the article today that went through a whole long history of yellow and the different CEOs that they've had and the mistakes that they thought they made. And this article was kind of blaming the union on it. Now, I know the unions made concessions a couple times, right? They gave back a lot in wages, lower, lower company pension participation, stuff like that. And, but I think this last contract that they had in 2019, I think, they got some of that back. I'm not sure if they got all of what they wanted back, but they got some of it back. And then Yellow decided to do a, a reorganization on how they can bring the company back. And they want to do things like the non-union carriers do, like hire more outside carriers, contract power to move the freight. Uh, I'm not sure what all else they wanted to do, but they wanted to do some things that the union decided they weren't going to do anymore. They weren't given any more concessions. They, they wanted less contract power. They want to move their own freight, which I don't blame them. But and sometimes when the economy goes a certain way, you got to make decisions, right? And companies have to make decisions. And I even heard last week that the, the company is actually suing the IBT, the Teamsters Union, for like, I think it's $137 million? I think, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure on that number, I think that's what it is. Because they say that because the union won't go along with the things they want to do to reorganize the company and save the company, that they're not able to complete the task that they started to reorganize and to redo Yellow Corporation for what they think it should be. So they're blaming the unions they're suing the union, and where that goes, I don't know. From what I understand, they only have enough money to go, I think, to the end of July, 1st of August. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but what do they do? A lot of people are saying, Yellow will never go out of business. The, go the government will bail them out again. Well, I heard today on the radio that one part of the, the government, maybe the Department of Justice, said that they would not back, they didn't think it was legal or, or a good idea for the government to, to get involved anymore with Yellow. So that's like a clue that the government may not be there for them this time. But I hear on, the, on all the forums, on the Facebook pages about how Yellow will never go out of business because of the union. These are union drivers and I get it. You wanna see your company succeed and I'm not sure I, don't, I didn't want to get any opinions on on whether the unions are good or bad 
I know for one time they were great. I'm not so sure now. But tell me what you think. Is yellow going to make it? If you drive for yellow, please respectfully give me some comments. And if you don't drive for yellow, make your comments respectful too. These guys, I, I can't imagine what they're going through, not knowing what the company's going to live or die. These guys that have been there forever, they're probably even wondering about how their pension is going to come or if it's going to come. So think about these guys and these families that are going to live with this if the company goes out of business. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think will happen or won't happen and why. Stick around, watch some more of my videos. I appreciate that. If you've subscribed to this channel, I really appreciate that. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button and we'll see you later.